Hello everyone, um, I'm just going to do like a quick poetry book haul video. So I'm going to talk you through all of the poetry books that I've bought recently, which is quite a lot. So don't show my husband this video because he'll be annoyed and he hasn't noticed all of them yet. So yeah. First up, I have Dalji Nagra, look, we have coming to Dover. This has been out for like 10 years. This is, um, but I got this really, really lovely, pristine copy from an Oxfam bookshop right by my work, by the uh, British uh, Museum. And I hadn't actually, I'd read a few of his um, poems, obviously, but I hadn't actually read the full collection. And then I got this from my work library and was like, oh, this is great, I need to have this. And then I wandered into this Oxfam bookshop and they had this, so that was pretty great. On the same jaunt, I had this, The Pomegranates of Kandahar by Sarah Maguire. So, Sarah Maguire sadly recently um, died. She was a really, really amazing poet and kind of spearheaded a lot of poetry translation into English, especially from Middle Eastern regions. And her work is really, really, really incredible. She has another collection called The Florists at Midnight, which I absolutely adore, all about her being um, a florist, which she was for a while. And it's just like, just absolutely stunning. So really pleased to see this. And give that another read. Um, Citizen by Claudia Rankine. This is another one which has obviously been around for a bit. It won like loads and loads of prizes at the time it was released. It won the Forward Prize for Best Collection. It was on the New York Times bestseller list for ages. And it's really, really incredible read about um, the kind of contemporary life under in such a racist society and the kind of microaggressions of racism that people that people of colour experience every day. And it was really, really eye-opening to um, to read this. So I really recommend this. It's also kind of intertextual. There's like um, some really incredible artwork from contemporary artists that kind of, yeah, it's just a really, really great book. So I really recommend that if you haven't already read that. Um, so that was Oxfam Bookshop. When I was in Oxfam Bookshop, I saw um, Dan Schreiber from No Such Thing as a Fish, one of my favourite podcasts. And um, I was a bit starstruck and I didn't say anything, but I, I knew it was him. And I wanted to say hello, but I thought it'd be a bit creepy, so I didn't, but anyway. So, um, the London Review Bookshop is another really great bookshop which does an incredible amount of poetry in the basement, so I recommend going there. From there, I bought these. So, these are all really good, like, Twitter poets. Like, all three of these poets, um, they're all really, really good, lovely people on Twitter, so I recommend them. So, first off, Richard Scott's Soho. <sighs> I mean, I should probably do, like, a separate video about how great this collection is, because it's just really, really incredible. I love it just all about like capturing like contemporary gay life and historical gay life in Soho it's it's just absolutely stunning it's just really really amazing so if you yeah just get it just get it it's really great uh, the built environment by Emily Hassler it's another one that's really really another kind of actually all these are um, first collections as well, first full collections. Um, 
this is a really really great I really love um, geography and collections about maps and, and the natural world and that, the interplay between those two things and this is definitely a collection which has that kind of outlook it's also really delicate and really beautiful so recommend that This is Natural Phenomena by Meryl Pugh. Um, so great to see this in London Review Bookshop. Meryl is, um, I like to say she's a friend of mine. <laughs> we were on the same master's programme doing writing, creative writing about 10 years ago. And she has, her career, her writing career has really, really blossomed and it's really amazing to follow. This collection is really, really beautiful. As you can probably imagine, it's all about the experience of nature, contemporary experience of nature. And yeah, it's just really beautiful. So yeah, definitely give it a read. That's Meryl. So when did I get this? This is Helen Dunmore's Inside the Wave. I got this from Waterstones in Crouch End. Because um, we hadn't been to the new Waterstones in Crouch End yet. So we did. And obviously I bought a book. Um, this is Helen Dunmore's final collection. And um, as she, she died just before this was released, I think. It won Costa Book of the Year for 2017. Um, it's just an incredible collection about mortality and about life and um, just, you know, it's just really, really moving and really amazing. There's a poem right at the end um, that was written of just a few days before she died called Hold Out Your Arms and it's just it's just really really emotional and really really fantastic. So yeah. Yeah, I really recommend that just for everybody really. So yeah, so these were the books, these were my recent poetry purchases. Oh no they're not. And one more. So I got the Modern Poets 5 with Sam Revere, Frederick Seidel, Catherine Maris. So these are really, really good. Um, you probably have seen these. They're quite, it's kind of three contemporary poets, um, like selections from either their collections that are coming out soon or past collections within the past 10 years. It's like really, really contemporary stuff. This selection is really good. I think Catherine Maris um, was the one that kind of drew me. I hadn't really read much Sam Revere before, or Frederick Siegel. So it would be interesting to see what their work is like. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that is now all of my all of my poetry books from the past month, month and a bit. I have a problem and I'm sorry. So yeah, um, I hope you're all doing well and you're all reading poetry. Let me know what poetry you're reading. If you're reading anything but poetry, let me know about it as well. That is all. See you soon. Bye.